three-time national motor racing champion Tom Ingram knows better than most the challenges of professional driving. At just 22, Tom is widely regarded as one of British motorsport's rising stars. Tom has proven a fast, consistent competitor, winning the Ginetta Junior, G50 Cup and the Super Cup Championships. But now Tom is facing a very different challenge that will push his driving skills to the limit. Tom has agreed to swap his racing car for a 44-ton articulated lorry to see if his skills on the racetrack are enough to master one of the most powerful vehicles on Britain's roads. Tom will have to do not one, but two separate driving tests. The first is to prove that he can drive a rigid vehicle. The second will see him handle a fully articulated truck with a bigger engine, more axles and an independent couple trailer. Excellent. Has he got what it takes to be a truck driver? There's a serious shortage of truck drivers in the UK. 45,000 fewer than we need to fill our supermarket shelves and keep our industries working. Yeah, I think you'll pass with fly colours. I mean, I'm sure he'll struggle with the reversing aspect of it, but um, ultimately he's got the awareness and the car control and a lot of experience driving, so I'm quite confident in him. He should do really well. First up, the theory test. <laughs> Where was it? So they got hazard perception. Nailed that one. <laughs> yeah. And then the main theory one, nailed that one as well. Got a few of them wrong. But basically, yeah, all good. Look that. The logistics industry is the backbone of the UK economy. Truck drivers deliver 85% of the nation's goods. But there are not enough qualified truck drivers to meet demand. My name is Scott Walker and I head up the Driving Academy for Pertemps. We do driver assessments, so for any new driver coming into the industry, we just check the safe on the road before we give them the keys to one of our vehicles. Uh, day one of my, uh, of my training for my LGV uh, CATSI test, so um, yeah, a little bit nervous, quite excited, a um, bit of a mix of emotions at the minute because the biggest thing I've driven at the minute is about Ford Transit, so I'm, uh, yeah, mixed emotions, but I think it's, uh, it's more excitement than anything else. Teaming up with his British touring car co-sponsor, the Road Haulage Association, and Driving Academy per temps. Tom will undergo a week of intensive training. This is a really important check that has to be done every morning, basically. Yeah. So when you take over the vehicle, you need to make sure that it's safe to use on the road. Um, and it's actually a criminal offence not to do this. Okay. So normally your tacker card goes in, yep. and then by law you have to show at least 10 minutes of stationary time on the tacker graph yeah. as you've got time to do inspection. So first of all, we've switched the lights on and the indicators on. Yep. So what we need to do is basically check everything works on it. So we're going to check the lights, we're going to check the indicators. Yep. Okay. Uh, you can then go inside and put the headlights on and check the headlights okay. work. Look underneath, check for any air leaks, any sounds, look for any fuel, any oil, basically any leaks. With modern oh, vehicles, right. you've got air con, so sometimes you've got water dripping down. Yeah. Okay. You've got to check the wiper blades. Yep. Okay. You can check the uh, wipers work and the screen wash works when it's inside. Okay. This vehicle is a brand new vehicle. It's got no dipsticks as such. So we can't get inside here to check any dipsticks or any fluid levels. All that can be done on screen on, okay. on, the, on, on the computer system. Okay. Um, Check the windscreens for any cracks, any damages. Yep. Okay. And then start looking at the um, condition of all the mirrors. Check the clean. Check all the lenses are unbroken as well. Yep. So as we start moving around the vehicle, you've got to basically check all the corners. The corners are the corner uh, what can get damaged first. Okay. So so just check the steps are secured just by standing on them. Okay. Basically, you don't get inside the vehicle and hurt yourself. Every lens is clean. It's working. All the mirrors are okay. Okay. Yep. So the first thing we come to now is the tyres. Check for the one mil of tread at least, over 75% of the circumference of the tyre. Yep. Um, check for any cuts and bulges. And it's always a good idea to give it a little cut, um, a little tap, and you can feel the vibration, and that will tell you that it's got its full air pressure in there. Okay. If it looks at all deflated, then you need to get, get a tyre pressure gauge. Yeah. These are safety wheel marking nuts. If a nut comes loose, 
or starts to come loose, the pointers won't point at each other. So give it a quick visual check and check all the pointers are pointing at each other. Yep. Okay. There should always there should also be the same amount of thread showing on showing each. On each one, yeah. yeah. That will be an, if it's done a complete revolution, it's still pointing. You would actually notice that there's yeah. no thread showing. Yeah. Okay. So. As we're working stuff down, um, there's the fuel tank, check the caps on, yep. obviously you've checked it's got loads of fuel in there, all the marker lights, the crash bars down the side of the vehicle need to be checked and just make sure they're nice and secure, check the corner of the boxes, the guy that's had it before you may, may have hit a bridge and not reported it, yep. check that, work your way down, do the same check on the same on the next tyre for, for um, the tread that cuts the bulges, um, it's intact, all the wheel marker nuts. Yep. Again, give it a little tap and just check the pressure's in there. Do the same for the next tyre, I'm checking all the marker nuts. Uh, all the treads in there. Check the indicators work, check all the bumpers intact. It's a good time now to check your load, so we can have a look inside the trailer. Just have a look at your load and make sure that's all secured, it's all strapped in. Yep. Check it's the correct load as well. Yep. You, you, don't, <laughs> you don't want to be taking the wrong load. The wrong load so you can check the load against your notes. So we're inside the vehicle, check the handbrake's on. Yep. It's in neutral. Yep. Okay. Put the keys on, turn the ignition on, then just start basically doing some visual checks. So we're checking all the mirrors are okay, they're nice and clean. Yep. Check your seat's comfortable, you're in a nice seating position. Check the seat belt works. Yep. And it's operational. Okay. Then you'll start the vehicle up, you'll build your air pressure up, okay? And that will give you time to get start work, start filling your paperwork because we need to fill in. Even though we've done a, a visual walk around, we have yep. to fill in and actually tick and sign off that we've, we've okay. done those checks. We need to check the height of the vehicle, yep. we need to write the height down, okay? So we've started the vehicle up, we've built the air up, then we can check all the pressure gauges then. We've got loads of fuel in it, we're checking the oil pressure. Check the air gauges that have built the air up. We don't want to see any warning lights on this instrument screen at all. So when we're actually driving it, there can't be any red lights on. So we're going to check. There's no. Well, there is, there's two red lights on. There's a seat belt and the part brake. We know they're going to go off once we set off. Like I said earlier, there's no um, dipstick on the vehicle. So if when we start the vehicle up, if, if it needs any oil or any water or any okay. wash yeah. fluids for the windscreens, it will come up on the screen and tell okay. us. So just check really. There's nothing. There's no warnings. No audibles going off and telling us that that it needs to be filled up. Next time, Tom has taken to the roads, adjusting to the differences between the car and the cab. Mega. Yeah, really, really good fun, actually. Has he got what it takes to be a truck driver?